Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video we're going to discuss yet another natural cure for type 2 diabetes. A low carb, high fat diet. In our previous videos we discussed the fact that bariatric surgery can cure T2D and more surprisingly to many that fasting has been known to cure T2D for a hundred years. And yet, another possible cure for T2D is a strict, low-carb, high-fat diet. This type of LCHF is often known as a ketogenic diet. For more information on the diet, check out our LCHF series. It is well documented that refined carbohydrates such as sugar and flour increase blood sugar more than any other food. It is also well known that fats do not raise glucose at all. So it follows that if you lower your carb intake, your blood sugars will lower. And if you reduce these foods dramatically, then you should see an equally dramatic drop in blood sugar. We must remember that the American Diabetes Association tells us that there is no cure for diabetes, chronic and progressive. But there are many stories online that very obviously show that T2D is completely curable. Intensive dietary management has many of these stories. So Dr. Fung imagines it this way. If a friend told you that they had lost 50 pounds, reversed their T2D, and had gone off their meds, you would most likely say, oh my gosh, that's wonderful. What you probably wouldn't say is, wait a second, the ADA says T2D is incurable, so you're nothing but a liar. Get back on your 50% carbohydrate diet and take your insulin. So given all the information we've been discussing in this series, if you stop and, and think for just a bit, it becomes obvious that T2D is fully curable. So why is there still all this push for calling it chronic and progressive? Well, the short answer is ignorance and ingrained rhetoric. The common treatments for diabetes don't cure it. Have you ever heard someone say, I started on insulin and my T2D cleared right up? And what about the standard 50% carbohydrate, low fat diet? Know anyone who cured their diabetes doing that? Probably not. And if we look at the case of Jennifer Elliott, an Australian dietitian who had 30 years of experience, it becomes very clear that there is no room for change amongst the experts. Jennifer started advising her T2D patients to eat a diet lower in carbs. Not an outrageous thing to do considering how much evidence there is that this would lower total blood sugars. So what the, did the Dietitians Association of Australia do? They expelled her and prohibited her from practicing. I find that pretty amazing. But, hey, don't take my word for it. Read about it in the description. So, instead of trying to search for the truth, doctors would rather use treatments that guarantee they will never be cured. That's just how it's been done and will continue to be done. And they say it right to you. You have T2D. You'll always have it. You're eventually going to be on dialysis and most likely go blind. Just accept it. Additionally, they tell you that there is no hope and no point looking for it. And we accept it, 100%. Every time I personally have tried to discuss it on T2D forums, I am completely accused of being a liar or uneducated on the problem. Do my previous videos give you that impression? The facts are there. We just aren't allowed to see them. In fact, just this week, the New York Times released an article in re regards to a new bariatric surgery for obesity and T2D and why such surgeries are extreme and potentially dangerous. It then goes on to explain how LCHF has been proven over and over to have the same benefits without the health risks. I encourage you to read it for yourself. There are links in the description and at BeALoser.today. So, with conventional T2D treatments, there can only be two possibilities. Either the treatment is good and patients aren't following it properly, which is not supported by the number of prescriptions being filled for insulin and other T2D drugs, 
or the conventional treatment does not work. So this begs the question, why do doctors continue to use the conventional treatment when there is proof that not only can T2D be cured, but it can be cured using fasting and LCHF diets? The answer is actually complicated and merits its own video, but the short answer is that doctors have no choice but to lie to themselves and to you. As we've seen, if you stray from the conventional treatments, you will most likely be ostracized and possibly barred. Additionally, if you were a doctor who had treated tens of thousands of individuals for T2D, and almost all of your patients had become disabled or died from the disease, how would it affect you to know that there is actually a very simple cure? And everything that you have been doing to treat these patients has in fact been harming and killing them after you had taken an oath not to do so. Psychologically, this would most likely be impossible to handle. So it's far easier to accept what you are told about treatments from the ADA as fact and eliminate any who might shine a light on the truth. And that truth is that T2D is a dietary disease and you cannot treat a dietary disease with drugs. Okay, that will complete this video. We'll have another video in this series soon. In the meantime, I encourage you to like our videos and comment on them. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments as well so that I can address them. Also, please subscribe to the channel so that you are updated on new content. Alternately, you can like us on Facebook as we update there as well. There's a link to our page in the description of each video. As always, I thank you for watching. And until next time, keep being a loser.